Hello, thank you for watching this video. Uh, today we talk about some common ways which will damage our power supplies. Uh, in our store, we have RD series power supply, uh, DPS, DPH, DP series power supplies. All of them are DC to DC power supplies. So that the first damage reason is that some customers may not check the technique parameters uh, in the product page. They thought they, they, they are AC to DC power supply and they you will use AC import for our products. Uh, in this way, the product will be burned due to the over high voltage. Uh, if you want to use AC import, you need to uh, add a AC to DC PSU. Uh, no worry, for our RD series power supplies, uh, we will um, recommend uh, AC to DC power supply in the same product link. Uh, if you use your own PSU, just make sure that the output is stable. Uh, if you use bad PSU like uh, electric bike charger, second-hand power supply, modified power supply, uh, they are unstable power supplies. Uh, there, there is still possibility that our power supply will be damaged due to the overhead import voltage too. Uh, these two reasons are import voltage reason, uh, AC import and uh, overhead DC import. Uh, our power supplies can also be damaged with the load you connect. If you connect the uh, inductive load, uh, such as motor, you need to use the current in the one third range. Uh, for example, uh, here is uh, RD6012P. Uh, normally, you can set 12 ampere for normal load, but uh, if you connect a motor, you can only use 4 ampere max. It is the same for other constant uh, power supply in other factory, uh, not just for our products. Uh, the last reason is the battery charging function. Uh, many customers will use our power supplies uh, to charge battery. There is no problem, but you need to be careful about the windings. Uh, for DPS, DPH, DP series power supply, there is only, uh, there are only two terminals: uh, output positive and output negative. Uh, no battery charging terminal. You need to check uh, if the Output terminals are connected to the right electrode of the battery. Uh, if the battery is connected in the wrong way and the output is turned on, the power supply will be damaged immediately. Uh, normally, uh, if it is not burned badly, the fuse between the output terminal will be uh, burned first to protect the whole board. Uh, for our RT series power supply, uh, you need to use the battery charging terminal, this green terminal. Uh, it has protections uh, like uh, reverse protections and uh, a cut off current, cut off temperature. Uh, only you connect it in the right, right way, the so output can be turned on to the battery. Uh, some customers may use the red terminal to charge battery too. Uh, in this way, it is same with uh, DPS power supply. You need to be careful about the winding. Okay, that is all. Thank you for watching this video.